We're taking a olive tour at the Texas Hill Country Olive Company. Never been here, so let's go see what it's about. Texas Hill Country Olive Oil Company is family owned, right, a collaboration see. between a father, John Gambini, and his daughter, Kara Gambini. They are passionate about what they do and the most awarded olive oil company in Texas, located in the beautiful and beloved Texas Hill Country of Dripping Springs. The company began in 2008, where they purchased 17 acres of land in the picturesque town of Dripping Springs with the idea of planting olive trees. Since day one, the focus has been on preserving the natural beauty of the area while providing fresh, locally produced, extra virgin olive oil and other premium products. Their story starts with Mr. Gambini, who always had the dream of owning a vineyard. They are third and fourth generation Italian immigrants by heritage, and he loved the idea of having a bit of their heritage here in Texas. So they were talking about his dream over Thanksgiving in 2008, after he had just read an article about local Texas farmers who had planted olive trees, and were starting to figure out what varieties to grow and which areas they would grow the best in. They all thought that it would be much more fun to help pioneer a new industry versus jumping into an already well-established one. There were already 160 wireneys in Texas at the time. From there, it happened very quickly, and by December 2008, they had the land, and by spring of 2009, they had trees in the ground. So, why Dripping Springs? Well, not only does it have the perfect land conditions, but it also shared many similarities to certain landscapes in Italy, which they loved about this area. The trees are planted on a slope in rocky limestone soil. The limestone keeps the soil more alkaline. The slope of the land and the rocks in the soil help with water drainage. There is always a nice breeze in the orchard, which helps the pollinator trees, Pendolino variety, to pollinate the varieties that need pollinating. They source some olive varieties from nurseries in Texas and have also purchased trees from California. They are proud of the fact that they have created the only certified organic orchard in the state of Texas. Now we got some seed stuff here. So go ahead and have Awesome. Yeah. Welcome in. Here we're going to share bits and pieces of the interesting things that we learned through our tour before we go taste the olive oil. So this is our mill. This is where we store our virgin olive oil. This is where we bottle it. So we've got all of that happening back here. On the weekends, we kind of have it rearranged for tours. Oh, yeah. Good morning. My name is Kim, and I work in health entry. I'm a teacher by profession. I actually teach in Johnson City. I'm a chemistry and physics teacher. And this is my second job. It's a kind of a natural thing to teach, right? I'm in my class here. Y'all are my chemistry and physics students. So okay. You knew what you were signing up for, right? <laughs> yes, and a quiz at the end. Nice. <laughs> um, but this, um, anyway, so this is a family owned business and it started in 2008. The father is John Gambini. I know it sounds like John Gambino, but they're different people, not the same. And his daughter, Kara, they run and own the business now. And they bought a 17 acres that you might have seen when you drove in right behind us. And then they planted 1,600 mature olive trees from California. And they were growing and doing wonderfully. And ironically, the 2020 harvest, year 2020, was the best harvest they've ever seen. <laughs> in the whole state of Texas, you know, that we have agriculture people go around and look at the different harvests for different crops. Very impressed with this crop. It really was pretty. I saw pictures. I wasn't working here at that point. Um, but I say ironically, because when you drove in, you didn't see any of those trees, right? And it's because of the February 2021 freeze. Um, they uh, can't handle temperatures below 15 degrees Fahrenheit for more than 24 hours. So it was definitely colder than that for multiple days, and the roads were very icy. You can set out heaters, the wind's blowing. It was just really nothing to be done about it. It was kind of an unusual situation. We have replanted, um, we just replanted in the spring, some, some more trees, a little bit hardier variety. We have two varieties out there that were growing well. Um, so backup plan C had to be Northern California. So Mr. Gambini and his daughter have had a relationship ever since they started this endeavor. 
with other millers and orchard growers. And so they have leased an orchard in Northern California, same harvest process, same milling process. So that's kind of our state of affairs right now. So I'm gonna to explain to you how olive oil is milled, because that's what this is right here. Why would you want extra virgin olive oil? Let's see about it. And um, kind of the history of all of the extra virgin olive oil. What's, um, what's been happening to it? And what do we think about it now? But being a teacher, I like visuals, right? This is not a real olive branch. <laughs> Although our olive trees would look about like this, typically this time of year. Um, an olive off of a branch. It's hard and it's very bitter, especially if it's green. And that kind of leads me into why would you want olive oil? Well, we know that the Mediterranean people as a culture are very healthy, long-lived people. They eat a lot of fish and vegetables and fruits, but a lot of it true also has to do with the olives and the olive oil. So all vegetables and fruits will have polyphenols in it. But olives in particular, and the olive oil in particular. So that's why you want it. This group of chemicals called polyphenols. But a lot of people in Mediterranean climates and countries, they know to drink their extra virgin olive oil, especially on an empty stomach, because it's good for them. Um, so antioxidants, anti-inflammatories. One of the particular type of polyphenols is called oleocanthal and it mimics ibuprofen. We all like ibuprofen, right? <laughs> so it's kind of like you're eating natural ibuprofen. So extra virgin olive oil, drink some and you'll feel better. And I always like to say, I know this is true because I have given quite a few tours since I've started here. Everybody is ending up much happier. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this huge long history with the olive tree. And even in The Godfather, you know, he had the business with olive oil. So there is a history of crime with olive oil where they're adulterating it, they're diluting it with other types of oil to make them. And so what you're getting could be corn oil, in part, vegetable oil, uh, safflower oil, and canola oil. Or another issue could be that the olive oil is not made to the high quality parameter that should be extra virgin olive oil. So the study done with the University of California at Davis, you might have heard some of this, they went and took bottles off the shelf of extra virgin olive oil bottles, and 70% of them were not extra virgin olive oil. So there is no regulation, USDA, FDA label. So you just kind of have to know what you're doing and know what it should taste like, which we'll go taste them after this. And so there's four different grades of olive oil. The top one, the best one, the one with the least amount of defects, the one that is made uh, to the premium quality is extra virgin olive oil. So that's what it is. And then you have virgin olive oil and you like that. And then you have just olive oil. And then the very last one is lamp oil. Because we use olive oil for so many things, anointing, hair and body, Eating, of course, but also lighting and burning it to light our homes. So, that. so after I explain the harvest and how this is done, and if you have any questions, you can do that here too. We'll go and taste six different extra virgin olive oils. There's different varieties, and then we infuse flavor in some of them too. And we'll also try four balsamic flavors, which we don't make, but it's Italian to have balsamic vinegar in extra virgin olive oil. So it's a, it's a this is our first olive oil tasting in a setting like this. We have absolutely no idea what we're doing. Which you can see that when we do our first few tastings of the olive oil, we've practically drank all of it and we should have left a couple of drops in there so we could dip our bread in it. Oh well, first timers. Okay. Um, so what you're trying to find is in the middle, you've got an orange rectangle there that lives with the four S and all of those you see is most similar to a white piece. Top left corner of your chair. And you can start swirling that around. There you go. In the cabinet. So uh, I'm swirling the top left one around. Oh, there's place it in the palm of your hand. 
swirl delicately. Mm. Mild extra virgin olive oil though. So as you move across the tray with the other oils, it'll get more robust, more aromatic, more flavorful. So the one you're trying right now, when you're ready, you can actually slurp it. Like that, because that opens up the flavor profile. Or you can just swirl it around in your mouth, just like you would a wine, um, to get the full effect of the flavor palette. This is um, Arquina olives, which is the most mild, like I said. And that is what we're actually growing out there right now. This is what our orchard looks like. So let's try the second one, it's called the Spaniard. And the Spaniard is a different olive variety. It's also a Spanish olive. Arquina olive, that is called Shakita olive. So it's got different color, you might notice. And it's going to have a little bit of aroma and flavor. It's a little discerning in your taste. So professional olive oil tasters are just like professional wine tasters. They're called the same. Are you training to be a sommelier? No, I am not. I'll be teaching, and this is going to be enough. I do think it's interesting. Yeah. I think it's a three-year-long process. It costs like five thousand, ten thousand dollars. I mean, chump change for a teacher. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Yeah. 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 I love the idea that somebody can have such a high level of taste that they can discern how good the olive oil is. Yeah. And that is true. Let it smooth. I didn't tell you the last parameter. We have a small bottle of the high level acid. Oh, do we? Yeah. Super high quality. Yeah, we're going to get better at using water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's one of the reasons why I never we buy them. We get them when we keep them like gold. Like, we don't want to Misers. Yeah. Alright, this is going to be the second one. Alright, this is the second one. Um, this is called the Why? I think we're supposed to like we have some left over to mix that. Oh, were we? I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll have left over. <laughs> oh well, whoops. Okay. Oh, well, now I know. Or 
if you use this, you're going to do part of the spell or slip. You can do play. You can do for all that kind of behaviors. Ain't it for you? Make sure you have So it looks like vinegar, but what's best with this is just to sip it on the cup. Yeah. It is so good. It's so good. So good. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a white balsamic that is infused with lemon. Like so white lemon. Here. So yeah, you just drizzle it on salad by itself, like or a fruit salad by itself, or pour it in your water. It's super sweet. I can see that being good on salad. It kind of tastes like the salad I had yesterday. Yeah, it's had a lemon vinaigrette. Especially because of the fermentation of the probiotics. I do it. And the pH. That's because it's a great product. It's got bioflavonoids in it. Cranberry pear. Sounds like some more like. Tastes good in our Greek pitas. <laughs> kind of just put it on the pita and then the sandwich stuff. It tastes like the high. You were at Medicine Park? Yeah. That like high oleic acid and something else. Mm -hmm. like the, it was like the super healthy variety. Mm -hmm. That's what that tasted like. I'm going to try the rosemary. Rosemary is like my favorite herb. Yep. It is good. Of course, it needs to be good. Oh, I didn't see a garlic one up there. It's infused with garlic. <laughs> mm, that's yummy. You can see that putting it on like a pizza crust on the crust from the outside. Just kind of lightly putting it on there. That'd be good. That's rosemary. <laughs> right. And this is what it looks like before the 2021 freeze. Now. Orchard Lane. Uh, I mean, like, are we allowed to? Yeah. Does it say don't enter? And I saw kids. We at least just go up to the tree. Like this one looks a little bigger. It's crazy the first things were like, so big. Right? Man, how devastating to lose your entire crop. Yeah. Huh. We hope you enjoyed our olive oil tour. Check out that Airbnb that was just down the street, literally on the same street from this orchard. It is super cute and they have so many options there at their ranch. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel because why not?